10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Fujifilm Lens Starting at number 10. Fujinon XF 50mm f2 RWR Lens. The 56mm f1.2 is one of the finest Fujifilm lenses on the market if it wasn't for the high price, it certainly would be worthy of the top spot. But for portrait shooters weighing both image quality and value, the 50mm f2 is worthy of serious consideration. This lens pretty much has it all. A fast maximum aperture for excellent low-light performance, a premium metal build including weather sealing, and great clarity overall. And a tan 7 ounces, it's less than half the price and weight of the 56mm f1.2. One thing to consider here is that the 76mm isn't super versatile. This lens makes a lot of sense for those who frequently shoot portrait and people photos, and it can double as a macro lens as well. And depending on who you talk to, it may in fact be sharper than the 56mm above. But outside of these uses, you're going to find real limitations in terms of what types of photography it doesn't shoot particularly well. Focal length aside, we love the combination of price, performance, and build quality, and it's a worthy alternative to the 56mm f1.2. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At number 9. Fujinon XF 14mm f 2.8R. One of the great advantages of a mirrorless camera system is the compact size, and prime lenses almost always are smaller and lighter than zooms. The top wide-angle prime for Fujifilm X mount is the 14mm f 2.8, which hits the sweet spot for landscape photography, with a 21mm focal length equivalent. At 8.3 ounces, it's substantially lighter than the 10 to 24mm above. And the lens does not disappoint from an image quality perspective with great sharpness, very little distortion, and solid low-light performance. All things considered, we have the Fujifilm 14mm f2.8 ranked here because we value the larger zoom range and increased versatility of the 10 to 24mm f4 above. More, we've found that most wide-angle photos are taken in decent natural light, therefore the faster maximum aperture isn't as important as it is with a portrait or travel lens. Both are good options, but at similar price points, we prefer the zoom. For a cheaper wide-angle prime, see the manual focus Rockin' and 12mm f2 below. Number 8 of my list. Fujinon XC50 to 230mm f4.5 to 6.7. With most of the attention on Fujifilm's stellar primes, there's always a spot for a good telephoto lens to complete your kit. In terms of optical quality and performance, the 55 to 200 mm above wins out, but the high price tag makes it inaccessible for those who want occasional telephoto use without breaking the bank. The 50 to 230 mm provides exactly that. It gives you a nice range of focal length coverage equivalent to 76 to 350 mm, good optics overall, and a reasonable weight of 13 ounces. For a X mount telephoto zoom on a budget, this is our top choice. What are the downsides of the Fujifilm 50 to 230 mm The first thing you'll notice is the slow maximum aperture, which at f4.5 to 6.7 is the least impressive on this list. In addition, aside from the glass, the lens is built almost entirely of plastic, including the mount. This does help keep the weight down, but metal is preferable in terms of durability and feel. Last but not least, focus speed and low-light performance are as expected from a lens of this cost and aperture. But for the price and weight, the 50 to 230 makes a nice budget alternative to the 55 to 200 mm and is a fraction of the cost of the 100 to 400 mm. Coming at number 7. Fujinon XF18 to 55 mm f2.8 to 4. The Fujifilm 18 to 55 mm f2.8 to 4 is sold with cameras like the X-T2 and X-T20, but calling it a kit lens would be a disservice. Compared to other mostly plastic and rather marginal Nikon and Canon 18 to 55 mm kit lenses, this Fujifilm is built better and far superior from an optical perspective. Not only do you get a relatively fast maximum aperture of f2.8 at the wide end, this lens is crisp throughout the heart of its zoom range with minimal distortion. All things considered, how we feel about the Fujifilm 18 to 55 mm f2.8 to 4 directly correlates with the price for which you get it. As part of various Fujifilm kits, the lens is commonly available for more than the cost of the camera body, which is a fantastic value. For its full MSRP, it's still a quality lens, but not nearly as enticing. At number 6. Fujinon XF35mm f1.4, R. 
The Fujifilm 35mm f1.4 is the second nifty 50 on this list, coming in at a very versatile 52.5mm equivalent. We considered ranking it above the f2 version, which owns the top spot on the list, but there are a couple of reasons why we didn't. The first is autofocus, which can be slow in certain light, and is loud for a prime. The second is price, which is a significant $200 more. Both are quality lenses and you can't wrong with either, but we think f2 is fast enough for most people. However, for those who don't plan on taking this lens off their camera much, it's worth an investing in the Fujifilm 35mm f1.4. This lens hits the mark on almost all fronts. It's fast, sharp, and has excellent build quality. And this lens truly shines when natural light is low, making the f1.4 the favorite among wedding and event photographers. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Fujinon XF55-200mm to f3.5-4.8. to There are a handful of telephoto options for Fujifilm, but our top all-around pick in this category is the 55-200mm. to This lens has you covered up to an equivalent of 305mm, and with very respectable maximum aperture of f3.5-4.8. to you also get good sharpness and image stabilization for handheld photos in low light. This lens is more expensive than we would like, and autofocus can be slow, but it still complements the 18 to 55 mm kit lens and other primes quite nicely. For those who only plan on shooting at the telephoto end of the spectrum on occasion, the Fujifilm 55 to 230 mm f4.5 to 6.7 is considerably lighter and cheaper, with the major sacrifice coming in speed. And serious telephoto enthusiasts should consider the 100 to 400 mm f4.5 to 5.6 below, which is out of reach cost-wise for most people, but has the longest zoom range of any X-mount lens by far. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Fujinon XF56 mm f1.2 are welcome to the fastest lens in the Fujifilm lineup. With a maximum aperture of f1.2 and an 85mm focal length equivalent, this is the premier portrait lens for Fujifilm mirrorless cameras. Bokeh, depth of field, and color rendition are unparalleled in the X-mount lineup, and the lens performs extremely well even when wide open. If you're a serious portrait shooter with the budget, this is a must-have lens. Our only real complaint about the Fujifilm 56mm f1.2 is autofocus. Fujifilm cameras have lagged behind Sony and others in this category in general, and this lens has a tendency to hunt on occasion. But we really are just nitpicking about an otherwise spectacular lens. At number 3. Fujinon XF10 to 24mm f4 Royce. We wish there were more wide angle options for Fujifilm X mount, and an f2.8 zoom doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility. But that doesn't stop the 10 to 24mm f4 from being a fantastic lens overall. With a focal length equivalent of 15 to 36 mm, it's eerily similar to the 16 to 35 mm full frame lenses that are so popular among professionals. As we've come to expect from Fujifilm, this lens is super sharp, has minimal distortion, is well built, and comes with image stabilization to boot. If you shoot landscapes or other wide angle shots on Fujifilm, this is your best bet. The biggest hurdle in choosing the Fujifilm 10 to 24 mm f4 is cost. Nearly is a lot to spend for an f4 lens that isn't weather sealed, but again, wide angle photographers don't have a ton of X mount options. We do like the Fujifilm 14mm f2.8 prime, but that lens costs nearly as much and is less versatile. If you're really looking to save, the Rokinon 12mm f2 below is a fun manual focus lens that gets your foot in the wide angle door without breaking the bank. Nearing the top of my list. At number 2. Fujinon XF 23mm f2 RWR. The Fujifilm 23mm f2 is in quite as versatile as the 35mm f2 above, with a 35mm focal length equivalent that is a little narrow for portraiture. However, this prime lens has great optics and is ideal for street photography and travel. It's lightweight, sharp, fast, focuses quickly, and even comes with weather sealing. That's pretty much the whole package in our book. For professionals and enthusiasts who depend on this focal length, the pricier Fujifilm 23mm f1.4 is one stop faster. It's true that this lens will give you superior bokeh and depth of field, making a nice pairing for high-end Fujifilm cameras like the XPRO2. 
but at more than double the price of the F2 version, and more than 4 ounces heavier, not to mention the slower autofocus, most people will find that the F2 performs just fine. And number 1. Fujinon XF35MM F2 RWR. Fujifilm is best known for street photography and portraiture, and its prime lenses in particular, so it should come as no surprise that the 35mm f2 is at the top of this list. With a 53mm equivalent, this lightweight lens offers excellent sharpness and low light performance at a reasonable price point. If you're in the market for an X-mount walk-around lens that can help take your travel and everyday photography to the next level, look no further. A more expensive option at this focal length range is the 35mm below. Both are excellent options. The f1.4 has a faster maximum aperture by one stop, but the higher price and heavier weight tilted the scales for us in favor. Grab the f1.4 version if cost and weight aren't primary concerns, or you're a professional who depends on this focal length, but we think the 35mm f2 is more than enough lens for most people and a great value. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.